relief is on the way for businesses that have been struggling to stay afloat after border restrictions were implemented about 19 months ago. Yeah, the Department of Homeland Security has announced the restriction on non-essential travel will be lifted next month for those who are fully vaccinated. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell shows us why some owners were feeling like this day would never come. Some say it felt like a yo-yo, really unsure whether or not the border would ever fully reopen. While waiting, there are a number of businesses like the one right behind me that were forced to close. Others are hopeful this means things will finally turn around. For Samuel Hernandez, the general manager of a business in San Isidro, the workday started off differently. Instead of focusing on when the border would open, he instead could look at what they will do once it fully reopens. I actually believe it's going to open now. Tuesday, the Department of Homeland Security announced border travel restrictions will be lifted in November. It's been 19 months since the border has been shut down for non-essential travel. This was part of the restrictions ordered by the Trump administration at the start of the pandemic to help slow the cross-border spread of COVID-19 between Mexico, Canada and the U.S. San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria was among those who pushed to get the border open. By lifting these outdated uh, and unfair restrictions, we can take the next step to reunite our binational border region which has been hit hard by this closure, especially in the city of San Isidro. The Chamber of Commerce says the loss in retail sales in that area now over a billion dollars, with more than 280 businesses that have closed and more than 2,000 people who have lost their jobs. Something Hernandez knows all too well, as his stores had to make drastic changes to keep their doors open. Since the border closure, they've seen only about 40% of what they would typically make. We had a, a lot of people actually, we were limited to one person in every store because not, not a lot of people were here. So we had a cut, cut up in customer, customer service a lot also. Hernandez says this move isn't just for businesses. It's also something that's important for all of the families impacted by these restrictions. For Latin Americans, we really, we take family really important for us. Family is really it's a priority. So not being able to see your family, being seeing them on phone, it's not the same as hugging them. And to give you an idea as to how much this area relies on border traffic, we are told 95% of their business comes from south of the border. Reporting from San Isidro, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.